Hello, this is Mr. Montgomery, and this Physical Science One Lab is for my students that are either online or out of class for some reason or another. But this experiment's all about making measurements and then using some of those measurements to come up with some graphs. So if you haven't done it already, print out a copy of the lab handout for measurements and graphing, and we'll jump right in. Different items. Um, some cubic shaped items, a cylinder, and a sphere. We're going to make some measurements for each of those so that you can calculate the volume and the density for each one. But I'll show you those objects in this video and then I will um, call out their length, width, and height for you so that you can use those to calculate the volume and density. And you have all of those formulas that you're going to need given to you on each section of it. Now we're ready to start measuring your cubic style objects first. So uh, we have a block of aluminum, a uh, block of copper, a piece of brass, a plastic cube, um, a steel cube that's painted black, and then a wooden cube over here. Of course these don't have to be perfect cubes, you know, like a square, they're just rectangular shapes. Now in making all of these measurements, we're going to use this digital caliper. Um, and I know there's probably a terrible glare on here right now. Um, but this digital caliper, one thing you want to notice, it's going to measure everything in millimeters. So when I give you these measurements in millimeters, you want to make sure and convert them to centimeters. So you're going to take each millimeter measurement, you're going to divide it by 10. All you're really going to do is you're going to move that decimal place one time to the left and you're going to end up with three decimal places on all of these measurements as a result of that. But the first thing I want to give you is the mass for each one of these objects. So right here um, I've got them you know, written out in order but you have the aluminum, the brass, copper, plastic, the steel, and the wood. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead here and give you the masses for the other two objects, the cylinder and uh, the sphere also. So if you need to, you can pause here to have a minute to be able to write down those objects and their masses. And same thing down here as I scan down to the other ones. All right, so the plastic cylinder, you have its mass 14.24 grams. And then the plastic cube is 10.33 grams of mass. So now we're ready to make our measurements. And I'm starting with my aluminum block. And as I get ready to measure its length, it doesn't really matter as long as I measure all three directions, which one's length, width, or height. But making my first measurement, I got 31.93 millimeters. So again, you're going to convert that to centimeters. It means you're really going to have 3.193 centimeters. Now to make my next measurement, I know this looks like a cube, but it's not a perfect cube. And so make a measurement this time. Now I've got 31.89 millimeters, 31.89 millimeters. So 3.189 centimeters. And then one more measurement to give us the height, 31.85 millimeters, 31.85 millimeters. So that will take care of our aluminum block. I'm going to switch now to the brass blocks of this tiny little cube here. And so if I start my first measurement, 9.81 millimeters. Sometimes these decimal places may change while I'm not able to see it as I turn it to the camera, but 9.81 millimeters for our length. All right, let me open it up, remeasure here. 10.02 millimeters for our width, 10.0, we'll say yeah, 10.02, that's what I said the first time. It changes a little bit here as I move it around. 10.02 and then one last measurement for the height 9.86 millimeters 9.86 millimeters all right that takes care of that now copper so copper 
first measurement, 19.88 millimeters, 19.88. Measure the width, 19.82, 19.82. And then one more measurement for the copper block, also 19.82 millimeters, 19.82 millimeters. All right, that's copper. Now I'm gonna take the plastic block, if I can hold it steady here. First measurement, 25.27 millimeters, 25.27. Next measurement, 24, I might double check myself here, 24.96 millimeters, 24.96. And then one last measurement, 23.80 millimeters, 23.80. Right, steel. All right, so this one you can tell, definitely three different measurements, three different uh, results we're going to get here. But again, doesn't matter as long as we measure all three directions, doesn't matter which one's the length, the width, or the height. So my first measurement, we'll call it the length, it is the longest one of them, 30.27 millimeters, 30.27. Take second measurement, 20.01 or 20.02 millimeters, 20.0 two millimeters. And then the last one for this piece of steel, 9.99 millimeters, 9.99. All right, so we're done with that one. And then the last cubic object is we're gonna take our block of wood here. So let me get this longest measurement first. Get it in here well. 75.36 millimeters, 75.36 millimeters. Take my other two measurements, 24.36 millimeters, 24.36. And then last measurement here, 24.07 millimeters, 24.07. All right, so now you have each of those lengths, widths, and heights. Now you can calculate the volumes and calculate the densities. And then I'm gonna move over to our other two objects. So the last two objects we need to measure. First we have this plastic cylinder. So I'm gonna measure its diameter first, or the distance across this circle. So that gives me a diameter 25.08 millimeters. Okay, and again, make sure you're changing all of these things to centimeters, moving that decimal place, but that's your diameter. So to get your radius, you wanna take that measurement after you convert it to centimeters, divide that by two. So 25.08 millimeters. And then we need the length of this cylinder, or you could call it the height. It's labeled as height on your handout. So a height of 24.57 millimeters, 24.57 millimeters. And then our very last object, take this plastic sphere, we need to do the same thing. I'm going to measure its Diameter has a diameter 25.42 millimeters, 25.42 millimeters. So the same way on it, divide that by two, that's gonna give you the radius. Use that radius in order to calculate the volume. So I hope you were able to get all the information you needed from that video to make the calculations you needed to for that lab experiment. As always, for my students, if you need any help, feel free to reach out to me. I'm here to help you, and I will see y'all later.